Every year, construction companies across the United States hold an annual week-long event to celebrate the hard-working individuals while highlighting safety, simply known as Safety Week, and it takes place in the month of May. So in today's video, I've decided to focus on one of the aspects of safety that's been a recent topic of discussion and change over the past few years. We're going to take an in-depth look at the difference between the more commonly recognized construction hard hats and this newer style construction hard helmet. The commercial industry has been moving towards this newer style of construction helmet, so I'm curious as to how they stack up against one another when it comes to safety, cost, and overall feel throughout the day. So let's go. But first, how do we even get to this point? Well, the construction industry first started using hard hats back in the late 1800s, and the evolution of the hard hat style has transitioned over the past century. In 1919, the hard boiled hat was patented for the first time, starting to be more frequently used among construction companies as a means to prevent injury from falling objects. Thus its name, the hard hat. Some early projects, such as the Hoover Dam project in 1931, required the use of hard hats, but this was just a project requirement and not a national requirement until decades later. So this leads us to OSHA, which stands for Occupational Safety and Health Administration in the United States, which is a federal organization that started in 1970. Later in the 1970s, OSHA started issuing the first national requirements for hard hat use among certain industries. So hard hats continue to evolve with the added ratchet strap, lighter weights, and more stringent safety testing requirements over the years. This is where ANSI comes into play, which stands for the American National Standards Institute. ANSI sets these standards, and then OSHA references back to these standards for the requirements that hard hats must meet on the job site. So hard hats can either be type one or type two. A type one hard hat is intended to reduce the force resulting from a blow to the top of the head. A type two hard hat reduces the force of impact that could be both from either the side or the top of the head. Now hard hats also have different classifications. There is class E electrical, which is intended to protect up to 20,000 volts. Then there's class G general duty, which protects up to 2200 volts. And finally, there is Class C, Conductive, which doesn't offer any electrical protective qualities. All right, let's take a quick look at some hard hats and see how they stack up against one another. So we're gonna start off with looking at this Pyramex Safety SL Series Full Brim Hard Hat Four Point Ratchet Suspension. So this is our basic type one hard hat. It's made of high density polyethylene. It looks like it's ANSI certified. The weight is a little bit over half a pound, which is fairly light and easy throughout the day. And I can't unfortunately find the class type listed by this seller, but looking at the Q and A section of this hard hat, someone is saying that it is in fact class E. The manufacturer should really list this here, so I can't assume this is actually Class E, but Class E is the highest electrical rating out there. Finally, looks like this is coming in at a price point of about $16. So we're gonna step this up a little bit and we're gonna look at this Pyramex Safety Ridgeline Full Brim Hard Hat. Again, four point suspension. It comes in matte black graphite. Again, it's another type one hard hat, yet this has a full brim versus just the front brim for some added protection. It's made of a thermoplastic polymer. This is also ANSI certified, which everything on this list is gonna be ANSI certified. And this weight looks like it's coming in at a 0.1 pound, which can't be right because that's pretty much weightless. So I'm gonna just double check this on another website. All right. All right, this translates to a little bit under one pound, which seems more accurate. This hard hat class is listed C, G, and E, which basically just means that it's class E since that's the highest rating. And this hard hat comes in at about $27. All right, so those were our traditional style hard hats that we've seen throughout the past few decades in the construction industry. And we're gonna move away from those and look at this new helmet style. So we're gonna start off pretty basic with this Green Devil Safety Helmet. This safety helmet is also type one. Uh, it looks like it's made of a thermoplastic polymer. Uh, it's also ANSI certified. This helmet is almost one and a half pounds though, which makes it way heavier than the other hard hats we've looked at, which is not favorable. It's also class C rated, which is the lowest rating, meaning it's not intended for any electrical resistance. 
Now it does look like this hard helmet comes with some accessory slot attachments, including the introduction of the chin strap. This helmet is starting to move away from the full brim, which is interesting because the brim helps to keep falling objects from hitting the face when coming from directly above. Now, I'm not gonna go into how much controversy this chin strap has generated as far as differing opinions in the construction industry. Just know it's upset quite a few people. And it looks like this helmet style is coming in at about $42. Okay, finally, we've got one of the more commonly used industry-wide brands, which is the Cask Helmet, which has been taking over the construction industry for the past few years. And this specifically is the Cask Zenith X2. So this helmet is the first type two on the list, which means it's designed to absorb side impacts, whereas everything else has been type one to date. This helmet is also ANSI certified, and it comes in at a weight of slightly over one pound. It looks like this helmet is class E rated, which again is the highest class rating. This helmet also has tons of accessory attachments, but the brim has shrunk even more. Finally, this helmet looks like it's coming in at $137, but it does seem to have the highest overall safety rating. So the adoption of this new style of hard helmet is becoming more commonplace in the construction industry. In fact, even OSHA looks to have issued a statement switching from the traditional hard hat style to the safety helmet style for their own agency employees. But this helmet style is not a requirement yet nationally. So impacts to the head aren't actually the leading cause of injuries and fatalities in construction. The leading cause of injury is actually from falling. So the simple question stands, does the helmet style with the chin strap actually provide a difference in construction? Well, I couldn't find a study showing a comparative test of individuals falling wearing the traditional hat versus this new helmet style, but I don't really need a study to know that if you're wearing a chin strap helmet, you're far less likely to lose your helmet in a fall versus the traditional style hard hat. It would be nice to find some sort of test showcasing the traditional hard hat versus the chin strap type to see how they stack up in fall type situations. And maybe that's something I'll have to do in a future video to put this discussion to rest. So the purpose of this video is really just to showcase the options out there and to give you a quick insight into what the ratings and classifications mean in case you didn't know. Also, since this is a topic of discussion on many projects, I just wanted to get your opinion on the potential change in the requirements and what your thoughts are for the industry moving towards these higher end helmets. So feel free to drop a comment below letting me know your general thoughts towards this. But to recap, these hard helmets are likely here to stay regardless of opinions as the industry has been adopting them fairly quickly. Majority of larger construction companies actually require these updated hard helmets in their contracts to somewhat force the adoption across the industry in general. And I mention this because projects I've been working on have been utilizing the helmet style for approximately the past four years now. And my guess is that OSHA is going to turn this into a requirement within the upcoming years. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I am curious as to how everyone else feels about it. I wanna thank all the hardworking individuals in the industry. Buildings don't just get built without the skill and the knowledge that you provide. So thank you very much for doing what you do. And as always, be better, build better, be safe, and bye for now.